out to western Minnesota catch the goose migration there's been some fantastic white fronted goose and snow goose totals out here uh, a couple years ago in April because we had a late winter uh, we had a really memorable migration the kind that you hear old timers talking about I remember when the skies were filled with geese and that's what it was like fun to see big flocks of greater white-fronted geese. Uh, my friend Steve Millard, who's lived out here for 40 years or more, says back in the day it was a big deal to see a greater white-fronted goose and, and now we're getting giant flocks of them in, in late winter, early spring. And the lakes are just starting to, a little bit of water opening up, but uh, most of the lakes are still frozen. But there's been big numbers, so I hope to catch some. We were getting out into the open country now, getting excited. I'm out here at North Ottawa Impoundment in Grant County, Minnesota, and the wind is blowing about <laughs> 30 miles an hour, <laughs> maybe 25 from the south, but the geese are coming overhead occasionally, which is kind of cool. There's several thousand out there, right out there, several thousand out there right now, but the wind is just blowing. I don't know if you can even hear me. The light's only going to get better and better.
shooting from this side of the van through that far window because it is so windy. So I'm using the car as a windbreak. I'm shooting a mini toy quote unquote time lapse. I think it's working. I have to hunker down and hide behind my car to try and keep my camera stable. I've even been shooting through the windows for some video um, so I can stay out of the wind because it is crazy prairie wind today. It's got to be 30 miles an hour so I get a little shelter this way. But uh, now we're going to go to a nearby prairie and look for short-eared owls. Although not sure with this wind if they're going to be too active, but they don't come out often till dusk. They don't often get active till dusk, so might be good video still, but uh, stills might be tough. But I'm hoping because there's some access on the west side, so it'd be just golden light because it is clear as a bell. So fingers crossed. a couple northern harriers got a little footage but then they flushed some big giant dark bird I thought it was an owl but I don't know it, it was huge and dark so I'm gonna try and flush it out of the grasslands here probably scare me to death could it be a short-eared owl we're gonna find out uh, it was a short-eared owl threw my camera up and uh, I thought I hit record but I did not and flew off to the far corner of the prairie behind a little hummock hillock I couldn't see where it landed uh, sparky 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 stupid well something's going down hopefully they'll come out and start hunting says the 
the shadows are getting long and I still haven't found my short-eared owl. Wow, we got golden light right now. And out in these prairie grassland areas, the short-eared owl should be waking up and starting to hunt. Oh, there's something kind of floating over the... It's a harrier. Which, nothing wrong with harriers. But that's not what I'm looking for. shots at sunset of some flocks going over the setting sun in a silo. Well, no short-eared owls. I... It's about a half hour after sunset now and nada. Oh well, maybe I'll try again in the morning. But yeah, awesome day. Excited to do some chimping. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice one. Ooh, 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 <laughs> Yeah. Well, anyway, a fun day. Be back at it tomorrow morning. Maybe sadly, but this is one of the better or best COVID era hotel breakfasts I've had. <laughs> Usually it's just a bag lunch. This morning was fantastic too. I searched for shorter dolls before the sun came up. No luck. And then went back to North Ottawa and caught the sunrise and shot into the sun to do a little creative um, photography and video. The geese and yeah, the flock was still massive, although they seemed to be moving out by the time I left there. Well, just did a little hike here at Ratze, and uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up, head home. Um, really fun trip, and it's like the old days now with, I mean, you'll, you'll see like a smudgy cloud on the horizon, you throw up your binoculars, and there's a flock of hundreds, if not thousands of snow geese, or, and sometimes white-fronted geese, and then the, the flocks of tundra swans, just small, you know, a dozen to 50 have been going over all day as well. So late March, snow is pretty much gone, which doesn't is you know doesn't happen every year. But uh, this year it's a little early spring. I'm getting my prairie dose, my goose migration dose that should hold me over till the next year. North Ottawa and Grant County also spent some time in the prairies of Southwest Ottertail County. So really fun. Four hour drive back, here we go.
Oops, I forgot to get gas in Purim, and now I'm in the middle of nowhere. Actually, it's Finlander country, Managa, Zabika. Hopefully I can make it to Zabika before I run out of gas. Typical Sparky move, right Bridget? Thank you.